the Tyler Sis Parent Portal. You can locate Tyler Sis on the county webpage or on our school's webpage. Here you can find important information about your child's academic history, their assignments, attendance, their schedule, and much more. The assignments are broken down by class. You can just choose a different class and see how your child is progressing through each of them. Accelerated Reader. Accelerated Reader, or AR, is a computer-based reading incentive program used by first through fifth graders to test reading comprehension on designated books. To ensure that each child is practicing his or her appropriate level, the students are given the STAR reading test, which determines their reading level at the beginning of the year. Then use that level to choose books when they go to the library. The faculty and staff wants AR to be a positive experience for your child. We work very hard to help your child achieve success in this program. Each student will meet success if parents, students, and teachers all work together. Renaissance Home Connect can be used to see progress towards reading goals, conduct book searches using the AR Book Finder, review accelerated reader quiz results, and view the number of books and words read. Information about Accelerated Reader, Home Connect, AR Book Finder, and much more can be found on our school website under the library page. Regular school attendance is valuable and relevant for academic achievement. When a child returns to school after an absence, parents should call the school and send a note or a doctor's note. This note or doctor's excuse is very important as it verifies the child's absence. Prince George County Public Schools attendance procedures require the following. If your child has been absent for five days during the school year and you have not called or sent a note verifying the absences, school personnel will contact you and you will be asked to explain why your child was absent and will be informed of the consequences of continued non-attendance. Make special note that three tardies and early dismissals equals one absence. Arrival and dismissal. Students should not be at school before 8.45 a.m. or after 3.45 p.m. This is very important for the protection of the student because teachers are not available to supervise students before 8.45 or after 3.45. Students should be dropped off in the front office area and enter through the main lobby doors. Thank you for using the parent loop for pickup in the afternoon. We want to dismiss the students as safely and quickly as possible using the loop helps us to do that. All students are being dismissed in 15 minutes and parents that arrive between 3.40 and 3.45 usually have no wait at all. In the afternoons, cars in the pickup area should have their school provided name sign available. If you do not have your school provided name sign, you must park your car and come in and sign your child out in the main office. The cafeteria staff at South is eager to serve your child with a balanced breakfast and lunch. The staff stresses the importance of staying informed about your child's balance and loading money to their account as needed. With the My School Bucks app, this is made easy. You can create a free account and easily check cafeteria balances and purchases, get low balance alerts, and make automatic payments to your child's cafeteria account. The school lunch menu can be found on the app as well as on our school webpage. Please work with your child to make sure they have their lunch number memorized as each child must enter this number before they can progress through the lunch line. The cafeteria welcomes you to come and eat lunch with your child in the cafeteria. They're always happy to see you. Visit Ms. Smith, our cafeteria manager, in the main lobby tonight to get a sample of some of the items on our school lunch menu and to learn more about our cafeteria. For the safety of your child, the office cannot take any transportation changes after 3 p.m. 
Making transportation changes prior to 3 o'clock ensures that all teachers and students have adequate time to be notified of any changes before your child gets on the bus or reports to the library as a car rider. Afternoons are a busy time, so these changes are to protect your child and to get them home safely every day. Oh